today I'm going to talk to you about a seizure I had today. Typically my abs and seizures are exactly that. I'm not really aware of where I am. I'm just kind of blank. I can't have any thinking process in my brain. I don't speak because I can't think of any words or anything like that. But today, I had just come out of the bathroom. I was walking towards my room to get ready to go out with my mom and take the dogs out for a walk. Now my mom is the one that took the dogs out for a walk. But before that, before I had got to my room, I had stopped in front of the living room. I had looked at the living room. And then the next thing I remember after that was standing in the living room, not having any clue where I was, completely terrified, and I had called my mom a few times to see if she was there because I, I didn't know where I was. I didn't even know that this was my home. And I started crying. I have my couch in the living room and so I sat down on the couch after my mom wouldn't answer me. Uh, she couldn't hear me because she was watching her show in her room. And so I just sat down on the couch and cried until Xena had actually come into view. When Xena came in front of me, I actually remembered who she was. And then I was finally out of the seizure and I came to my room and just laid down and I was definitely upset that my mom didn't hear me when I called her. I was honestly very terrified at that moment and my head does still hurt. So this incident terrified me not only because I realized at that moment that I was having a seizure, but it also terrified me because those are the same symptoms of dementia and Alzheimer's and I see my mom having those symptoms and it terrifies me to think that maybe I could be having symptoms of Alzheimer's or dementia and even though they are symptoms of seizures as well, but it's just honestly just a really terrifying thought. Now because there are so many different types of seizures, that is why it is important to be aware of the different kinds of seizures, what they look like, and to let your friends know if you have seizures and what your seizures look like so that people around you are aware of what it looks like and so they don't think you're just some crazy lunatic that is going off and doing some crazy thing. It can definitely be stressful a lot of the time, most of the time, the majority of the time when you have seizures because there are so many people in the world that have no idea what a seizure is. You tell them, oh I have seizures and they're like, seizure? What's that? You're seizing my documents or what? what, what is that? That's why it's very important to make people aware of what seizures are so that even just a random person on the road isn't thinking that you're just some crazy person that they realize that you're having a seizure and they can help you if if they're a nice enough person that they can help you and call an ambulance for you when you're having a seizure now, even though my mom couldn't hear me call her, she is 
always there for me every other time. She, any noise she ever hears, she is freaking out and checking up on me and seeing if I'm okay because she is the best mom ever. I am honestly so grateful for her that she is my mom and it's so interesting to think that 12 years ago I had my first seizure. 12 years ago with my first seizure I had no idea what was going on. My mom had no idea what was going on. We were completely oblivious to even the possibility of me having seizures. We were both terrified of what the future might hold. And after all we've been through, through all these years, I'm very happy and grateful for my mother because, like I just said, she is the best mother ever. I hope that when I do eventually have kids, that I can bring what she has taught me to be teachable moments for my own kids. Whether or not I continue to have seizures well into late adulthood, it is still a teachable moment for even myself because there are so many times in the past 10 years that I thought maybe I should live by myself because I wasn't having the best time with my mom. We were having arguments as parents and children do regularly, but I know for a fact that living by myself unsupervised is not safe and I'm very happy that I am lucky enough to still have my mother. Now, if you like that teachable moment, then like, subscribe, and please come back for more. I love you guys so much. Be sure to check out my other channels. My comedy channel, my vlog channel, and my gaming channel. My comedy channel for more laughs on Thursdays. My vlog channel to see what I'm up to every day. And my gaming channel for awesome playthroughs and wonderful streaming. I love you guys so, so, so much. Mwah!